All right, we're gonna do the graphing quadratic functions, graphing quadratic equations. And so last class we were introduced to this a little bit, what a quadratic equation looks like. Now we're gonna go through some of the details around it. So our essential question for today is what are the characteristics of a quadratic graph. So let's talk a little bit about what a quadratic equation will look like on its equation. So a quadratic equation is an equation with either y equals x squared or somewhere in it it's going to have an x times another x and those x's might be in parentheses kind of like a factored form or they might just be stated kind of like what we stated right here so when it's in something called standard form though that's that's going to be what we're going to be looking at today you're going to have this form so you're going to have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are going to be numerical values. And if any of those values are zero, then you'll just be left with some of the other terms. But in a full standard form equation, you will have all three of those terms. Okay? And when you graph the quadratic equation, it forms a U-shape. And that U-shape has a specific name for quadratic equations. It's called a parabola. You may have heard that term before. It's a very mathematical sounding term, but that's the name of a quadratic graph. It has a U-shape, but the math name is parabola. So here are a few, actually five quadratic equations that are in standard form here can see all of those listed. And you'll notice that some of them just have one term where some of them have all three terms. So our standard form can be one term, it can be two terms, and it can be three terms. It's nice when it has all three terms, but it's a little bit simpler when it has two terms or one term. But all three of those would be considered in standard form. So what we would like you guys to do is for each equation above, we want you to identify what those A, B, and C values are, and then using Desmos, so going to desmos.com, so you actually open up the, your web browser and go to desmos.com, we'd like you to type in the equations for each one of these graphs. And then from that, we're going to see if you can figure out on the graph below here, we have all of those equations graphed, and I want you to figure out which equation fits which graph. So that's our first task for today, is again to go to desmos.com, to go through and graph all five of these equations, and then come back to your notes and see if you can identify which equation goes with which graph.